Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi. Let's see if the red line is the castle. A little bit. Is that okay. the simplest thing to make, right? Pick up things. going like in. Welcome to day two of our robot in a week challenge. Today we're going to be focusing on prototyping intake designs, delivery designs, and launching designs. Okay, that's it. <laughs> I, okay. Okay, so today we worked on the chassis. We made the basic railing and then we also prepared all the wheels. So we're just gonna put those put those all on tomorrow and then finish making the motors and it should be done by today. This is the chassis that we're gonna use this year. It's um, ran, it's run by two rev motors um, and then if you can see in here there's two chains and then the motor's just on this um, gear. And then this gear has two chains, one going to this wheel, one going to this wheel, and um, it also is just connected if you look here. Um, there's a gear which is connected to the chain, and then another gear which is connected to the wheel. And yeah, that's how all the wheels are run, and then there's just a control hub on here now, and that's kind of it. So we have an, uh, two Omni wheels, and then just normal wheels. So it's perfect. Here. Okay, I'll try to split this up and we'll just do that. Like these? Like right no, it's like two sides. It's like, like two holes on each side. If that makes sense. You are going to be careful. Let me try, let me try. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I keep targeting you. So this is our launcher that we tested and created in cardboard with a hair tie as the rubber band so it'll have more force. So here's just us testing it. I think that I think I think we need to make a fresh one. I think we need to make a fresh airplane. This is a paper plane, even though most of you probably knew that. And this is a launcher we made in like five minutes. So basically what's happening is there's a small slot right here where this L piece, I want to call it, just pushes back from an elastic and then you release it and you just put the paper plane right in between and you just shoot it, I guess. Yeah. Should I shoot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're gonna cut that because I broke it. I hope. It's a weekend. And that's like kind of what I do. Look at this one. Whatever, whatever. Wait, nice. Alright, so I'm using my fingers, which hurt a lot right now, because that's like both. It's like such a joke in the last one. Shooting it. Mm-hmm. That was bad. Should at least have used it. Two, one. Oh, it's the one! Let's go! Pro shot. Totally redoable.
is Robo Titans Robot uh, for the Fright Frenzy season. This is uh, something that we're modeling our design after. So the flap will move down mechanically when the arm is down, and it'll move back up when the arm turns back up. Yeah, and like down all the way. Yeah, yeah all the way up. Perfect. Okay, perfect. All right. So um, this is a prototype for our store, like for our hopper. So what will basically happen is um, our intake wheels or claw or whatever will basically intake a pixel into this little slit right here, and it'll be able to intake and it'll be able to hold two at a time. And then what will happen is we'll have like a rubber band that holds this little thing shut. So then when we like, so when we like drop this thing over here, it'll hold like a surgical tubing will be here that basically pulls it pulls the door up and opens it. So it'll fall. Oh, mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. okay. So this is just a basic um I have a motor for you. So just a basic what's it called? Arm. It's just a basic arm and then a claw at the end. Um it's just a motor with two gears running it on both sides so it can move up and down. And then the claw is just a servo and three pieces of extrusion that can just pick. Pulls it out, it just knocks out, knocks it out. Picks up. Okay, well, the fix. That is a big safety. Normal. Which one? The other one. This one. Perfect. Wait, how are we gonna place it on that? Wait. Do we have a second? It needs a wrist. No, we don't. This is the current status of the the robot and the arm. So we've got the arm able to lift and the paper plane launcher attached on top of it at a variable angle. We can open and close the claw, but unfortunately we can't lift the arm higher than this point. We're, and we suspect that to be because of a lack of torque. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another motor to the side of the arm and then see if that fixes our problem. Okay, so now you can operate it and you know that you're hurting. Okay, I'll give you one of those at a time. Just to remember, so let's keep going like in most of the time, but we're gonna have a hard stop so it doesn't go too far. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Alright, yeah, let's run it. Oh, oh, okay, great. Um, this is an intake. We're using two wheels powered by two separate servos. Right now, we're not powering this one. We're just using, uh, yeah, that. Um, so the purpose is so that it can just like pick it up, um, put it inside this design, and rest the base along the channel. This is going to be shorter eventually, but this is a prototype and. Yeah, that's about it. So, Alright, um, ready? I think he did. At the end of every thing, I got them. Did you guys do this? Oh, that's like someone else. I don't know. Well, I don't know. What is not this? What are you doing? RTSD. Let's like figure out what we can do. Like, and match them. You guys have RTSD. Robo Titan is functional. Run away. We have our own. We named it after your life. Actually, no, that was the most strangest. Yeah, that was the most just this way. Both of you are going to work at the same time. Yeah. Like it worked kind of, right? But it was like it was like a little bit so so. It was kind of slow. Then we tried a bigger wheel. So we tried this wheel instead. And this worked like way worse. Like, because it's like you need some compression almost. But we didn't have any compression wheels with us right now. Yeah. So instead we tried a smaller wheel because this is a little bit of a tire. So we thought maybe this could work. We could have like a row of a couple of them. Did we get like any plates? Yeah. Just look around in the kit.
that fine? Huh? Yes, perfect. Okay, um, we yep. have this yeah. guy. And this one was like, okay, but then it would constantly get stuck okay, in the yeah, hole. That's crazy! Okay. So then, but that kind of gave us an idea to try, maybe we want something to slightly get stuck in the hole, but not too much, not too much obviously. I mean, can we use these batteries? We have, we have an entire slide. Which is where this comes in. It's almost like a gear, kind of. Like we put zip ties and we cut them like a little bit. So the idea is that they would like kind of stick in the little gaps and the notches in the wheel and like in between, but the wheel as a whole would still be moving and giving contact. So it just like adds texture to the original wheel that we had tried. What did you say? I said I How do you connect to this wall? Extrusion! Oh, that's very loud. And then we tried this. Yeah, I know. And this was the most, this one worked the best out of all of our designs so far. But you notice that it has, it's very bouncy, which is something that we have to integrate into our actual mounting for this. That's all. Did you have anything to add? No, yeah. Alright, let's, let's roll. Take it, take it. Wait, let's right. So, let's say you have a yellow pixel and our human player drops it onto the mat. It's still in the mat, because there's a border. Alright, the robot walks over, over to it, or rolls, 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 yeah, and... It picks it up like this, and it's really versatile because even if you have it on a corner, you can still pick it up easily. Let's 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 do that again. You know, this is only happening because we have a server programmer which we have not programmed to do a specific amount of movement. It would have to go like here. In a real in a real scenario, it would work much better. This thing opens yes. while it's All right, parallel. I should probably turn so it off. Might have to, like, put in, like, we should take... So this was our original intake prototype from, like, day one or day two. And um, we we were happy with how, like, it kind We were, like, somewhat happy with how it worked, but we just couldn't get it to properly put into, like, a box, which would be carried out, and then, like, a transfer, and all that would have necessitated further um, designs that are really difficult to manipulate with these objects. So we've decided to scrap it because we need more parts anyway. So we're going to take the motor and use it to reinforce the arm, which we'll show you in a second, doesn't have enough torque to move the weight of everything right now. It is like... Yeah. And they just estimated? Yeah, they said roughly... Towards towards the middle. Middle. Yeah. Now for sure, take the middle. Yeah. 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 Y
All right, so an idea we had for the climber was possibly making two of these things and just like mounting them like on our arm right here. But um, we did have an issue considering like if we tried keeping it low, it would be like too, it would still be like too high on the robot or like too long based on how we like oriented it. It wouldn't fit in like the requirement of that box. So we could pivot the robot in a way that it would go through here and since like we could make it dodge these yellow poles and go through here and out so we could also do that to make it fit like under the thing and clamp it as well and now we can show you that it will actually fit like through this gap Go ahead, you do it. <laughs> okay. So, it'll go here, it'll slide. No, 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 it won't slide, it'll turn. Oh, it'll turn. It will turn like that, and then turn. Axel, Axel. And then turn back, and just go straight. So it'll fit. But, can fit. Yeah, it can fit, but it's too tall, like, to trust, like, it, it would still have like a lot of constraints to like get under yeah. the yellow bars. It would still have a lot of constraints. Yeah. Okay, so basically what we did today, or so far today, is we added another expansion hub which allowed us to add more motors and anything else we wanted to the robot. So what we did with it is we added a motor here to add more torque to the overall arm, and one over here so it'll help with the climb. Uh-oh. Oh! And pull oh. the arm. Oh, oh shoot. I'm not, What's happening? Just do it. It's fucking bar. Which one? The yellow one? Yeah, the yellow one. Oh. oh is that allowed? No. Just the wheel. No. Okay, Try no. again. Come on. Come on. It's not touching. Wait, wait, wait. That oh, was wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's good now, right? It, it's, yeah, it's yeah, good yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No. Wait, wait, it's not going to be yellow. Put the bar, put the bar, bar more down. The arm, the total arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go up. Go. Almost, almost, go. almost. It's not touching yeah. the yellow. Yeah! But that wait. fell off. Wait, this fell off. It's okay, that's okay. It's fine. Guys, it touched the yellow. Wait, it's, it's not the light. It's, it's not a touch. No, it's not supposed to touch, touch anything. anything. Hey, try again, try again. I need to see. Like, if, if I know, like, the way it works. I need to do, like, you know, don't put this in the bloopers. Yeah, very good. Make like, sure of how the spring yeah. works. Yeah. Let's go, Sanjay. Yeah. I was getting Ooh. a stab in the eye. Okay. Yes. Robotics <laughs> drip. <laughs> Robotics oh drip. My oh my god. god. What are you doing? This is like peak middle school Stop behavior, y'all. Yeah, this is so proud of him. <laughs> you not being a girl is not the reason you're not like other girls. What is that? So it's a wheel. Yeah. What? I no, lefty tighty. Lefty tighty. Lefty tighty. Ready? Yeah, he did. He's taller. He's taller. the wall makes him taller. Almost six one. Is he five one? Oh, yeah, yeah, five one. one. Okay. Number one. Yes. Okay. That's so slow. Are you doing it so fast though? Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Whoa, whoa. okay. Uh, you know this this team is so goofy. Uh, like, yeah. Wait, where's the other? I'm goofy. Yeah. yeah. Guys, you go know, like one of those. Jump, jump, jump. Oh, I'm going to I could have done. I